first stop is get some fuel before we go anywhere. Low lying cloud coming in, just topping up back to Bunua, and then straight on up to Yacht U today. The road from Bunua and Yacht U is supposed to be a good road, so it should be there before dark, hopefully. Three nights just isn't enough. I think if you really want to get a feel for the place up here, it's going to have to be a minimum of about five nights to really explore the city and the mountains and the hill tribes around. And even then, for five nights, you would not get to see it all. The three nights we were there, we didn't even really get down to the lake and see that, walk around that area that was just below our guest house of an evening you know we're up on the hill near the or temple looking down there and you could see um oh when we're up at Kufa mountain you could see the people down there exercising yeah. on the um the foreshore of the lake you know there's restaurants and that down around there we just did not get time we didn't have, you know we're up there for three days three nights and It is a long way to go, you know, for, for the short amount of time we're here. You know, I, I'd love to come back here and just have a holiday here, spend a couple of weeks nowhere else. Just this be the main goal to work. Because just the food up here, the people up here, the, the, dif the different types of people up here, the architecture up here. Um, just the scenery is spectacular. You know, you're in this bowl on top of the mountain with Mount Pufa as a backdrop and off every other side of that is you're looking down into cloud you know and 360 degrees around you you cannot see any other civilization but just this squashed in old city over 400 year old it is incredible do yourself a favor Get up here, put it on your bucket list. Pong Sali, guys. Pong Sali. It is a it is an effort getting up here, but much worth it. You, know, you will not regret it. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I thought that was a finger going. One other thing, one other thing, but uh, you enjoyed it, Nina. Yeah, very enjoyed. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing like you will see anywhere else in Laos. It isn't. Oh, it's good. The weather is nice. The weather. Great sleeping it weather is. up here. Yes. Everything is great. Bring some warm clothes. Yeah. Especially this time of year. And good in this season. In dry season. In December yeah, and yeah. January. Yeah, Coming in the dry season. Because rainy season, season and not rain. Uh, and you've got the cloud cover, the mist that keeps everything moist. And, uh, I mean, the rainy season cannot oh, come no. here. You, you wouldn't get up here in the rainy season. I, I wouldn't even attempt it. You know, as much as we like traveling in the rainy season, because it's more exciting and adventurous, there's, there's just no way you'd be able Saison to make it up here. should be in rainy season. Yeah. And even if you did make it up here on this road, you wouldn't be able to go out there and see the hill tribes just along their roads. Just to the Green Whiskey Village yesterday. It's a dry season. <laughs> we had trouble then, you know, so. Wow. Very good. Loved it. Loved it so much.
When I'm so tired of trying and I'm out on the road again I'm on the road again I didn't have to go To call my special friend Okay, Lou. Okay, Lou. Okay, check out the size of this guy's pipe. I thought that one was big, but the size of that. Yay! 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 Have a go at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a piece of furniture, that bong, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What, what is this growing around it? What is this? Mushroom. Like the... <laughs> Just from the water. Uh, okay. That's different. And they're just smoking tobacco? It's just mushroom is a fungus, hey. Oh, that's one. Yeah. Bigger. This is a piece of furniture I was talking about. Yeah, but so Just, it's just tobacco. They smoke in it. What are they smoking? They're working in the bank. They were. Yeah, but what are they smoking in the pot? Tobacco is like cigarette. That's what I'm saying. Cigarette. Cigarette, okay. Okay. But. Okay, Bob and Yang, Okay, Kopjay, there. Tai Lu Village. The name of this village, guys, is. Uh, Look at that. Nyai Nua. Nyai Nua. Which translates uh, as, uh, as, I've, as I've explained, Nua means north. Nyai is big, so this is the big north. North big. Not yai, honey. Not big, not. Ngai. Ngai. Ngai and yai, not the same. Okay. It's not yai. It sounded pretty good, but. Ngai. Mm. Okay. Some nice homes here, hey? Over the back here. To, geez, that's big, isn't it? Through there. Can't walk down there. Over the back here, we've seen another village. Massive big homes. We passed this Akka couple coming over the hill. We're probably about 60 kilometers from Utai Yot Ur. Uh, next village is Akka. Okay. We go, but another pipe there, stainless steel bong. <laughs> All good road coming up here, ever since we got back to uh, Bonua. There's, as I've mentioned before, the worst stretch of road that we've encountered coming all the way up north is from Bang Bieng to to Bak Mong. Uh, ever since then, after then, the road has been great. Well, not great, but good for Laos standards, you know. I think we've just got used to the shitty roads down in central um, Lao. And we think the further you go north, the worse they get. No, that is not the case. That big solid homes up here, aren't they? Another um, short handled tractor. How are you? <laughs> Just looking at your tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, delay. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 <
เอาเอาเห็ดสาวเฮือนป่ะยองยองยองสาวเฮือนป่ะ What are they using for? Like uh, they they tell me they put in the under the post they've got this concrete piers. Don't know. Where are they? No, no, it's usually concrete or stone to keep the ants away. Unless this is ant-proof timber, don't think so. Another type of vehicle I haven't seen before. Carway Auto or a Kaw, K-A-W-E Auto. She's low at the front, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of this is where we're going for a walk to over here, like it's been relocated or something, doesn't it? Sure. We could have drove, would have fit across there, but morning exercise is good. The rubbish in here, what's going on guys? Damn! I was thinking maybe these bags are full of something to, to do, but then I noticed all this junk here. That's not a good look. What have we got growing in here, hey? Obviously rice fields and veggie gardens at this time of year you can see where the rice has been harvested here this fella over here he's stuck not having any luck uh, i'm guessing same again tyler going on the big Construction Tyler was the um, the Riverside Village farmers near Naiwa, the village of Naiwa near Buntai. Very beautiful little village, surrounded by, and it was like this, just all tied in one spot and farmland all around it. Hello, Sabadi, Benjang Day. And very friendly people, so we will see, hey. See if I've got it right. Dailu? Dailu? Sim similar buildings, friendly people. And the way they stack their timber as walls. Uh. Yeah, we'll sit. <laughs> I like to stand. I, yeah. I, I sit in the car all day, yeah. tell her, yeah. Uh, uh, I stretch. <laughs> this, this is the same style as that gentleman at the other Tailu village mate. Yeah, you know, the neighbours who were cutting the twine and weaving these things, exactly the same style. This gentleman sells them. Got some for sale. I could do with a couple of these out of my veranda when I'm putting my shoes on and stuff like that. Okay, these, these are brand newies. They are good and solid too. Handmade. Handmade. Today. Today. Song Sen. Song Sen. They were cheaper at Nawai. Nawai, how much? Yeah, our uh, Hock Sip. Nawai is cheaper. Yeah, man. He's he's big. His big trays were um, Sen. Yeah. Yeah, the the big dinner uh, tables he was making, but these were only cheap. Hundred and hundred and fifty thousand 
<laughs> okay. I'll be, I'll okay. I want, I want song. So, how much for song? Send them over there. Send them over there. Send them over Definitely a bit of a farang for price on these because the, the older gentleman was <laughs> much cheaper. <laughs> Sen ha, which is our 14 Aussie dollars at 9 US each. You, usually we, we wouldn't try to haggle with them. But um, since we'd been to that other Tai Lu village and they were exactly the same that older gentleman was making, his big dinner trays were like um, some sand and sea sand, which is three and four hundred thousand kip. And he was selling them for the seats for six um, hock sip and jet sip, which is about six and seven Aussie dollars yeah three three fifty four US dollars so she wanted like three times the price but we did get them down to San Ha but uh, as they did explain some of the materials up here aren't readily available like the twine that the old gentleman was making the rope the, the the cane that they weave on top the seat that isn't in in a big supply this caney stuff that they make it out of there's a lot more down in the Naywa they know the Naywa area they knew exactly what we were talking about Nene. A lot of yeah, yeah. She was saying they didn't have much. I'm starting yeah, to feel like she stung not, us not now. They, have, but they, they go up yeah. to the mountain. Yeah. And very hard to take it. Hello, hello, Ben Jung Day. Nah, doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be. <laughs> Come out, let's look at the Farang. <laughs> okay, different place to store stuff, hey. I was thinking that was rope, but it isn't. It's Rio, bars of steel. I'm thinking, how's that holding it up? There, um, here we go, a couple of strangers just wandering on in through their homes and villages and they're happy. <laughs> they're, they're wanting to talk and come out and some turkeys there. Could you imagine doing this back home to a, a housing area? Like people would be pelting you with dog shit and empty cans and what are we... I can't turn my head quick enough. We've got a nice house here. I'm checking out this thing. Nice big awning. And then you've got the timber work in under here. And this caught me eye, so I can't get it around quick enough. And what is it? What is it? Makdui? Yeah, have company take uh, take this. What do they use it for? Uh, is is it a seed? Is it medicine and to okay. eat? Okay. To eat, you can eat and and I know well about it. You know well about it, do you? I know about they do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nene knows well about this. What a tank out there. They're well set up, these places, aren't they, the Tyler? Yeah, they're not run down old homes, they're purpose built, aren't they? Yeah, good, solid homes. 
Uh, they, uh, they may look old, but that's just the style these timber buildings are built in here. Yeah? Probably not real old at all, some of them. What's the boy doing in here? What are you making? <laughs> ben Jung Dai. What are, you, what are you doing? Ben Young. What are you making, dude? Ben Young. No, nah, guys who want to show me. <laughs> hey, just, just Whitlam Wood. Little walkway down through there. Where's this flowing to? And so they do have a drainage system down here and down through here. Okay. Yeah, I was I was just saying that. Yeah, they don't just let it flow anywhere. It it is constructed. Not like a, a you know a lot of um villages we do see. Like this. Um, what are these? What are... I don't know. What is this? Um, can you just ask the lady what this is, Nene, before we go? Nene. Steam. Okay, they build you've got the gr the grate in there might dry things out in there okay any ideas Perka have you seen anything like this before she didn't give us much of an ex explanation but there's plenty of firewood there hey. <laughs> Sabaydi. Sabaydi. What's that? She asked, oh, you are married with Falang, you have Falang husband. <laughs> what is she making? Yeah. <laughs> this one's, get back to work. Go on. Got all these orders piling up and you're sitting here gas bagging. I bet you that's what she said. I, I, I want to look at this, what she's making. Just checking out the timber work on these stairs. She's solid bloody timber guys. They're not short of timber out here, are they? This is like for livestock, for chicken. For chickens and ducks and things. It's a very, very pretty net just for them, honey. Little nice alleyways again. Another bong there. Tobacco pipe. Cut, don't let me forget to pick me stools up either. Another couple there. They're all over the place. Sabadi. Yeah. This is so interesting and it just being so welcome here is is really nice. They, they just they smile when they see you wandering through their bloody back and side yard and how you do, dudes doing, hey? And the further downhill we go, the bigger the, the drainage system gets, of course. Okay. Some partying on going down here. I don't know if my stomach can handle it after that shot of green whiskey I had yesterday. All right, guys, I've just had to go to back up. 
did not think we would get lost in this village for so long and didn't. The other batteries are in the car. We've got a party going on around here, celebrations. Hello. Surveyed here. <laughs> Surveyed here. I wonder what this is. People are in their dress to the nines, aren't they? Survey D. Survey D. Survey D. The Survey D. Hello. Survey D. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? They, they, they want me to drink. drink. Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now I'm gone. Now I'm gone. Now I'm gone. Uh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Shakti, eat him a hang. I just ate. Go away, pass aloud, no no. Pass aloud, no no. No no, pass aloud. Just asking what they're celebrating. Basi, man, okay. Yeah. Okay, so they just celebrate, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Celebrating, catching up on the wedding now. <laughs> By two. Two. So, so I'm saying for two. Uh, we just scored ourselves two of the big ones here for the same price for the little ones. Like that, they are. Yeah. Check it out there. There we go. I just, I just thought of something. Where, where are they going to go? How are we going to fit them in the car? If I have this other beer, I'll be able to work it out. <laughs> I'll sort it out. No. Milk, milk. <laughs> okay, that's it. Not staying long. I could stay here all day with these guys, but I know if I had any more, that'd be it. We would not make it to Yacht Mill. <laughs> that is it. Back out the way we came. Follow this around. Are you all right? I'm not. I I can't carry you. I've got all this, mate. I can carry for you. No, I'm good. I'm good. You can carry the little ones. Hello, Sabadi. I, th I think just this village has turned into its own video, guys. We're going to have to catch you again up in Idu. 
Is that it? No, it's your oo. How are you turkeys going? They don't mind a bit of turkey here, do they? Lots of turkeys around. Okay, and all this just goes down into the river we've seen. This traditional bridge. A traditional bridge, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've seen some traditional bridges like that in Australia. Traditional bridge. Hey, Benjang Day. Savaidi. <laughs> I wonder if this guy's got his truck out yet. It was bogged. Walk down here in the old rice field paddock. Could you imagine this? Just before harvest time, how lush and green it would be in the growing period of the rice. Right here at your doorstep. All the way down to the river. It's amazing how much more language you can pick up when you've had a couple of beers, isn't it? My brother-in-law joys like that. We understand a lot, understand each other a lot more, and he speaks English way better when he's had a skinful. I think the body language cuts in a lot when um, two people of different languages are on it, hey. Oh, he went face first down there. These girls would have seen that. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Out amongst them. Could not have picked a better time of the year to travel up here. Perfect weather. And these aren't bloody light, these chairs. Wow. Now there's something interesting. What the? Okay, what is it? Mignon. What? Hey, where's Nini? She's way back there. Hey, Sabade. Look at this. Some good solid bloody hardwood there, hey? Yeah. All those canes and that, they're weaving. This would be good, uh, marketed as like a little tourist destination. Come in here and buy your um, your stools, come drums. Because I have not seen these ones down in Vientia, not of this quality. You just get the plastic Chinese shit now. Not these ones that are made by these people. Nini, what are they? Them. She's not even looking in the right direction. Where? Over there. There it is. What is it? Why? Why they do like right this? Oh. Yeah. This, this, this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because how knowledgeable is Nini? The, the nature is red. Ah, like so they, they wet it, yeah. wrap it around there, yeah, totally. let it dry. Incredible, all right. Stuff me. I'm pretty sure some of you guys had it, had that already thought out. I didn't. Gonna blame the beer lair. Okay, there you go. Slowly getting the process down pat, aren't we? What is this? Pig, pig fat. Pig fat. Ah, uh, so they they would cook with it. Yeah. They cook with it. Okay, pig fat, cup jade. The truck's gone. He's got it out. He's dug himself out. We've got to get down here without falling down here. There's me chairs there. All ready to go. Thank you very much. Right, uh, we are back up at the car. I've changed batteries. I've got another battery in this now. Yeah, um, as I was saying you find yourself in that situation where you're being invited in they may be having a wedding they it may be 
a funeral ceremony. It, it could be just like a Barsi ceremony like that. And if you are invited in, take them up on the offer. Do. Yeah, by declining and thinking you are polite, it's just going to make yourself look bad in their eyes. You know, um, it is very respect respectful to go in and drink with them and eat food with them, break bread, and brings good luck to their ceremony. You know, we were treated as special guests. It was special for us to actually come in there. You know, a lot of before I'd learnt the, the culture, I probably would have seen it oh, and, and respectfully declined, but in their eyes, it makes ourselves look bad. So, you are not being rude by taking them up on their offer, you know, and in circumstances like that, don't even offer them money or anything for their food, you know, that, it, that is part of their, their custom, to share what they have. So, Bit tongue tied because they're just. I'm just overwhelmed with you know what has just happened. You know how friendly these people were. You know it happens all the time. You know I just lost at a loss for words, guys. I am. A couple of beers didn't help.